Now, the cool thing is, is I found out, let me log in, is that um, if you notice, I didn't go all the way down to the data pool level on purpose, okay? Because I didn't go down to the data pool, if I look into my portal, I can go into modeling. Now, there's no environments. Environments are pretty cool. Uh, the data model, nothing there. But if I go to objects, I can see my, my table. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in the wrong project. Let me let's see what, this one. Apologize about that. Let's go to here. But the point is, you can now see I have this one table as my object. If I go down to generators, it actually sees the one it sees the one that I created, and if I look at it, it actually brings over the rules that I created in GT Designer, which is really cool because I don't have to redo anything, right? It's all here. Um, but if I go down to self service catalogs, and I only want to see this project, there's nothing there. So that's what we need to put there now. Uh, well, and the flows. You see, there's no flows as well. So let's go build one. So we're going to say new, and we'll call it uh, request employees. Okay. Uh, now, very importantly, this VTC logic has to be selected. Luckily, it's selected by default. I'm just going to hit finish because there's some other screens, but I don't care about them at this moment. Um, as you see, I'm not connected to the repository, so we're going to do that real quick. Okay, now I'm going to connect to the repository. I want to make sure my target and profile are connected to where I wanted them to be, and they are. And now here, there's a couple of tricks, right? I could go down to import, and I can just drag this publisher over, and it gives me the same screen. Or if you don't want to, you could just do it the old-fashioned way, which is just grab a process, drag it over, give it a name. We'll call it employees flow. Okay, because truthfully, it's just part of the flow. The rest of this I don't care about because we're going to set it in a few minutes. And then what I'm going to do is just do the connectors. And now we're going to go set this. So if I go look at the properties of this, um, you have make system data. That is more for uh, if you're doing, you know, I'm sorry, find data is more for test matching. Okay, but what we're doing here is with data generation. And that's what I couldn't find a lot of documentation on. Now, what I did find documentation on is if you start from the portal and you just fill this information out, right, and you do your data generation and all that, then stuff shows up here. I mean, you still have to do the pieces that I'm doing as well, I guess. But the reason I say that is because what happens if I have a GT designer and I've done all my work there, how do I get that to show up on the publish, uh, up on the portal? And that's what I'm working on now. So now we'll go down to here. Uh, we'll go to our project that we just created. I'll go down and click on employees. Okay. Data pool level. Now, if you notice, my variable didn't show up, which is funny because I'll show you in a few seconds. I have to go select a default publish. And now I have my default publish. Now, what's funny, if I go look at another project that I did, I think it was this one. If I look at it, my variable show up for it. So maybe it's just at the publishing level where that variable is. I'll have to do a little research to see why. But again, what we're going to do is we can go back to here. We're selecting our default publish, which was our publish employees. We're going to say, OK, we're going to save. And now we're going to save it to the repository. It just wants to know where, which I'm OK with it being at the data set level. Save. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, I actually got to click on it. Even though it's green, you still have to click on it. OK, so save. And you're done. That's it. So you don't really need to know Agile Designer. All you need is a start, a flow, and an end. And when I say flow, I mean a process flow. Um, and then the rest of it, you just kind of connect. Make sure you connect it to uh, your your repository. Um, where, oh, so sorry. I was talking and thinking, which is very dangerous. So now if I go to my flows and I refresh, okay, now I see my flows. Um, so here you got to make sure this is checked. Wait, this is not the right project. I'm sorry. This one. Please. Now I only see the one. Sorry. When I hit refresh, it went back to the old project. What I've got to do is select save the self-service catalog. Save. Now that's there. Now if I go to the self-service catalog, I only want to see the one for this project. So I can see all of them, but I only want to see this one. Okay. So request employees. I'm going to go ahead and request. This tells me the only flow that I have, right? So you shouldn't have to select it, but it's there. If I'm a developer and I don't have access 
to certain things or I'm just going to request the data and come back later, then this is where I'd put in my email address uh, and it would send me an email whenever the publishing is done. But I'm going to go ahead and just do it this way. Hit request because what we're going to do now is this is our this is the next tab down, submitted requests. It's showing me that this has been requested and it is complete. Now I can click on it, see details. But more importantly, I can click on this little icon, open it up, and here's my data. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. There, pro there probably is 15. Um, it's just my numbering system's off because it repeats. That's why. Okay. Um, yeah, see, it says one, three, five. I would expect it to be one, two, three, four, five. But anyway, so I do only have 15 records if you did the math. Uh, I'm pretty close to it. It says 11. That's okay. That's not what this video is about. But the point is, I have my data. Now I can go write some code against it, and I can do whatever I need to, and I can see in my logs everything was okay. So that is how I got the idea of if I already have data created and GT, uh, di GT Diagrammer, sorry, I'm trying to do five things at once. Uh, like I said, thinking and talking is not my strong points. Um, if I already have my data generated here, then I don't want to have to go rebuild it in the portal. And then some things I saw, which is one trick that I, I saw earlier, is that notice here I made this one only point to Agile Designer. If you point this to Agile Designer as well, then it won't show up. And when I say point, I mean make it a project type as Agile Designer. It won't show up in the portal as far as like underneath like it does here in the generators are under objects okay so that's very important to know because if you don't see it just check it but what i did realize that is if i take it higher one step higher to the data set then it doesn't affect the data pool and it still shows up now the truth is i need to play with the variables that may be why my variable like this one is at a repository level i normally name my variables where they're at and maybe i need to create one at a data set level uh, maybe that would make a difference. But right now, not too worried about it. The difference is what I'd like, and uh, maybe I'll do that in another video, is I'd like for the employee to tell me how many they want, not just request. Um, worst case, you would have multiple versions of your requests. Like when I go here, I could say, you know, publish 25, publish 50, whatever. Um, anyway, so hope you hope this was useful to everybody. And uh, if you have any questions, please ping me. And again, I'll do some more of these videos to kind of help, uh, help move along with what we're working on.